Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 36th tutorial in this course. In this tutorial, we are going to check out a few more numeric functions. And uh, the first one that we're going to have a look at is the seal function or the sealing function. And uh, what this function does is if you pass to it a number, then it returns the next higher integer, right? So let's just see it in action. I'll bring my cursor in the uh, MySQL workbench window and I'll type in select first and then the name of the function which is CEIL and then within parentheses I'll pass a number argument and uh, let me pass in 35.40 right so we know that the next higher integer for this number is 36 so if I would press control enter I would see that in the results that I get 36 is the answer right and uh, you know you can say that uh, the counterpart of this function is floor and what floor does is it returns the you know next lower integer to the number that's passed as an argument so you know in case of 35.40 we know that the you know next lower number is 35 right so when i would press control enter i would get 35 as the answer the result set uh, for this for this number right and uh, the next function that we're going to check out is the exp function and uh, what this does is it returns uh, the power to the exponent base which is uh, known as e right and uh, it, it basically raises e to the power uh, the number that's passed in as an argument right so if i would uh, execute this function with an argument 5 then i would uh, basically get e to the power 5 in the result set right and this should be close to 148 yeah that's what it is right so we know that the value of e is close to 2.7 so if you would raise 2.7 to the power 5 this is uh, you know you'll get a, get a value that's similar to this right the next function that we're going to check out is the natural log function and uh, the name of that function is uh, log and uh, if suppose you want to calculate the natural log of 2 you type in log and then within parentheses you just type in 2 and uh, press control enter and this is what it is you know the natural log of 2 is 0.693 and if you want to calculate uh, the uh, log of 2 to the base 10 that is not the base e but base 10 and uh, that value we know is 0 0.3010 so that you would get by typing in log 10 as the function name and not just log right and uh, the next function that we're going to check out is the power function and i don't know if we've discussed this function already in this course or not but this function takes in two arguments and both have to be numbers right so if suppose you want to raise 2 to the power uh, 7 let's say then you type in 2 first and then put a comma and then the second uh, number which in this case would be 7 but you know it could be anything you know you could raise anything to the power anything and press control and you would see that 2 to the power 7 is 128 so if you want to verify the result of the exp function that we got earlier I know that the value of e is, you know, I guess 2.718 and I guess we raised it to the power 5 to get 148 point something. So yeah, that's what it is, right? And this is not the exact value of e. It's actually, you know, uh, recurring decimal. So it's 2.718 something, something, something. So, you know, if you would raise it to the power 5, you would get the exact answer, right? So that's the, the power function. It's P or W. And uh, the next one that we're going to check out is the greatest function, right? It's not actually the greatest function, but the name of the function is greatest. So what it does is it takes in a list of numbers and it, it returns the highest number in the list. All right, so let me give it an elaborate list like 5, 3, 1, 77, 9, 11, 6, 3, 3, 89. Right, that's big enough and when I press control enter I see that the results said I get 89 and uh, this is a very useful function I'm sure that you know people who haven't uh, heard of this function but are seeing it now for the first time you know you guys must have already started wondering about the kind of things that you can do with this you know I mean all those programs that we make in you know programming languages you know when we learn programming languages to find out the largest of three numbers six numbers you know if you're doing scripting you could use this function in the back end and you could do all those things uh, so conveniently right it's a very useful function and then the counterpart of this function is least right and what this does is it returns the smallest number in the list that's passed to it as an argument so for this list if i would execute i would get the answer is one because one is indeed the smallest number and if i would change any of these numbers to a negative number let's say i'll take this to minus 77 
now if I would execute I would get minus 77 as a result right because minus 77 is a negative value and it's obviously smaller than all of these so that's it for now I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial I'll see you in the next one in which we'll uh, discuss something interesting for sure and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, take care